Our next guest is Reed Conway. Uh, he's a senior energy specialist at North Carolina DEQ. Uh, Reed has been uh, working in energy and energy efficiency fields for over 30 years. And I say he's our uh, senior energy specialist because he's uh, based in Western North Carolina. So please join me in uh, welcoming Reed. Thank you. Well, y'all already knew I was going to walk around. I've been sitting way too long, so and I get a chance. So I get the chance to follow my boss, and so that's always a pleasure. Uh, hopefully, I'll do as good as Sushma did. Uh, I'm here to tell you, within the UNC system, within the state agencies, within the community colleges that report consumption to us, where we actually are here in North Carolina and where we need to go to. So to get everybody on the right page, when we start talking about energy management, we're talking about trying not to negatively impact comfort within the facility, well-being, safety. But at the same time, we're in education, so we're trying to maintain the educational environment because that's our key. The problem is when I walk into a K-12 school and I walk from one classroom, that's 68 degrees, I walk in the next classroom and it's 78 degrees. Then I walk into the mechanical room and I have no outside air. So our governmental students that are in these buildings are not in the most positive learning environment. They're carrying jackets, they're taking jackets off. They're getting sleepy because CO2 levels aren't where they need to be. Uh, it's not good. But that's what an energy management program does. Here in the UNC system, we're continuing to lose energy managers at an alarming rate. Right now, about 50% of the UNC system schools do not have a full-time dedicated energy manager. They may have an energy manager that's part of their job, but it's also just a part of their job. They're doing 10 or 15 other things. So we need to start working on that. So Peter Drucker said, if it can't be measured, then it can't be improved. I'll be a little pessimistic and say, if it, when it gets measured, it might get improved, okay? So we wanna move on. So what is, our, what is the state spending? Uh, General Statute 143-6412, what we refer to as Senate Bill 668, required everybody, the community colleges, state agencies, and the UNC system to begin to provide us utility information. As you can see, last year, the UNC system spent $219 million. The state agencies were over $100 million and the community colleges were almost 40 of that. So as a state entity, within those three groups, the state spent $360 million in utilities last year. So where does it go? Within the state agencies and the UNC system by themselves, the UNC system is 68%. The state agencies are 32%. And as you can see, electricity is a big piece of what we buy every year from our utility providers. But we also buy our fuels, chill water, and steam. That makes up the biggest pieces of what we buy here in North Carolina. So where are we as a group? Remember, in a statute, we're supposed to be at a 30% reduction by 2015. As a group, the UNC system and the state agencies, last year we were only, we had dropped back to 28%, not where we wanted to be. But as been mentioned, because of what we started with Senate Bill 668, with the general statute, as a group, we have avoided $1.1 billion in energy savings that would have been needed if we wouldn't have been doing what we're doing, okay? That's avoided cost. It's money we would have had to pull out of somebody's bucket to pay real dollars, okay? One of the things I wanted to touch on though 
was water. We track water. We're only 18% reduction in water per square foot. That's about a five or six gallon difference from where it was the year before. So we increased our water per gallon, uh, our water per square foot last year across the state. Water is a commodity and you can see what we started paying for it at $4.71. Now we're paying almost $9. It is moving the quickest up the scale and it's a precious resource and we need to continue to save water. Remember, 90% of the life cycle cost of water is the energy used to do something to it. Boil it, thaw it, well, maybe not thaw, ice, make ice, boil it, pump it, you know, change its state, all sorts of stuff. So if we save water, we also save energy, okay? Remember that. So if we're wanting to get to 40%, remember, House Bill 330 is out there and it's pushing us to a 40% reduction when it moves forward. In order to be there, as a group, together, the state agencies and the UNC system need to be about 91,000 BTUs per square foot. That's the number we're trying to get to. So if we look just at the UNC system, we take the state agencies out. The UNC system last year was it 31 percent and we were paying almost ten dollars a thousand gallons for water water within the UNC system again it's almost three times as much as what we began paying for in 2002-2003 it continues to be that resource as uh, as we heard last night uh, from the chancellor here at ASU the avoided cost for the UNC system over $900 million, a big number. So where are we overall? We need to get to 101,000 BTUs per square foot in order to get to a 40% reduction as a group. So what have we done the last few years? This was an older slide that showed how we were gonna get to 40% where we needed to go. What you see is the last three years, we've been 31, 32, 31. We're treading water. For the last three years, we have not moved the needle in a positive direction. But I don't know where we're going to be this year. Anybody done reports yet? I know I've gotten a couple already. I'll pick on David. David, Western go up or down? Okay. Okay. Flat and went down. So this number in order to get, remember, we got to go to 101. So we're at 117 last year. This year, where are we? We need to be moving this needle to something into 115, 110. We need to be moving we need to be moving the record down. So if we're looking at the scatter graph, everybody likes to compare themselves to everybody else, so we did a scatter graph of where everybody is. Feel free, shoot me an email, I'll send it to you if you wanna pick on other folks within other schools. Where you wanna be is you wanna be moving to the left and down. So if we're trying to get to our 40% goal, there's a lot of folks that are down here that have hit a 40% goal or they're already below the 101,000 BTUs where we need to be, okay? I'll pick on UNC Asheville. UNC Asheville is about 77,000 BTUs per square foot. Moving them down a couple more BTUs per square foot isn't really gonna help the whole group go to 101, but it will do something to the whole group. So, 1292, last year we only had 10 schools participate in 1292 and they asked for $11 million. That's similar to what we had in 2018. Uh, 
I wish more folks would take advantage of 1292. Uh, we're continuing. Uh, Miriam Tripp and I, along with Catherine, met with OSBM to talk about how we continue to move 1292 forward and continue to allow the UNC system to carry forward uh, money out of their utility budget. Also, remember by Executive Order 80, we have got to report our annual consumption and our strategic energy plans by September 1st, as usual, every year. Usually it's been the first Friday in September, but the Executive Order calls out September 1. So if you need help with strategic plans, you need, you got new folks that are filling out reports, Please let somebody within the UC staff know. We will come out. We will sit with you. We'll work through those. Go ahead, give us a call. So, with that all said, we've got three universities that have hit a 40% reduction. We've got four universities that are over 30. That means we've got some that hadn't got to the 30% yet. Okay? but everybody's got a little work to do. The ones that have hit 40% need to work to try and maintain that or move down even further. The ones, the, the 10 that are under 30% sort of need to get off the snide and start moving in the right direction. So, let's talk about this. The UNC system spends $600,000 every day, 365 days a year. That's your utility spend daily. If we add the state agencies, you're spending quite a bit more, $900,000 a day. And if we add the community college to this, that report consumption, we're spending almost $1 million a day in utilities. We haven't factored in the K-12 schools, city governments, county governments, into this at all. And I would suspect if we added the K-12 schools to this number, it would probably be almost twice that number every day. That's what we're spending. So when I go to other meetings out of state and they say, oh, we spend this, we spend that, and they say, Reed, how much does North Carolina spend? I say, we spend over a million dollars a day. And it's almost two thirds more than what most people spend. The state of Maryland, they're spending $600,000 a day. So, and then there's states that don't track utilities. Uh, I was with a legislator from uh, the state of Utah. Utah is just now trying to get to reporting on utilities within state agencies. They not, they're not reporting. So let that sink in. The two days we've been here, we have spent $2 million roughly in energy spend here in North Carolina. So. Let's break it down into something we might, under, we might make it a little easier. We're spending over $800 annually per FTE within the UNC system, okay? Those students on our campus are using 9,500 gallons of water. They're taking a lot of showers, okay? But no, this is for irrigation, chill water, all sorts of other stuff, but it's a relevant thing. Dividing it by the number of students, 9,500 gallons. Here's a number that you really need to understand. 176,000. The average house here in North Carolina spend, uses about 1,100 kilowatt hours a month. The same number of kilowatt hours that the UNC system bought last year could power 176,000 homes for 12 months. 
Let that sink in. Again, if you need help from us, here's our contact information. We will be more than happy to come sit with you, participate with you, do whatever you need us to do to be able to push the needle where it needs to go. That's what we're tasked with. That's what we do day in, day out. Lauren will tell you, I'll come speak to one of her classes. I'll sit with David and we'll talk management and uh, building automation schemes. Doesn't matter, I'll talk to students, I'll talk to anybody. We wanna drive the number down. Thank you.